Okay, I'm back. Um, <clears throat> now I'm going to show you the second way you can do this. It's a variation on what I just did. I'm going to make an in the pot swirl and then do my drop and my skewer. Now like I was saying in the first video, this is my base color. There's nothing added to this. You're allowed to add something to this. Then I'm going to take this and in the pot swirl it in here. You can add up to two colors to your pot. So that would be a total of three colors, the base and two in the pots. But the main focus of this is the drop and the skewering action um, and what that brings to the soap. So I'm trying to limit what you put in the bottom of your mold. And um, in the pot will give you a little variation. It's a place to be creative, but I just didn't want to add too much going on at the bottom, so that's why I came up with those rules. I'm going to use a fragrance blend I've never used before, so wish me luck, it doesn't accelerate, and that's another reason why I chose yet again 33% lye concentration on this one. Um, I'm using Brambleberry's Pomegranate and Black Currant mixed with Mad Oil's Velvet Peppercorn, I believe it's called. So, I have not added my fragrance yet. I have added my colorants, um, except again the titanium dioxide because it does tend to thicken up the batter more so than others. <clears throat> All right, so I'm gonna add, knock off the pink here, my whisk. All right, I'm gonna add my titanium dioxide. Hopefully that's enough to show up. I usually eyeball my colorants. Um, it's not the best way to do it, but it's just how I do it. Okay. Now. Oh, that smells really good. <laughs> I like that. Okay. To the white a little, just in case it discolors. See, that white's already starting to thicken more than the base. I try to mix my TD in as little water as I can get away with, and it tends to disperse pretty well in a very small amount of water. Alright. I'm using plain batter that I'm going to pour um, Nurture's Baby Blue Mica into for my In the Pot. That'll work. And it's staying really fluid, that's awesome. Okay, so now I don't know, I haven't made a million In the Pots like some folks, but just pour it in. That was messy. Just want to give a little wispies of color on the base, so I'm not being too particular about this. Stirred it around twice. And here's my little baby mold from Brambleberry. It's another thing, I've always had trouble eyeballing exactly how much batter I want to use. So I usually make more than the mold calls for. And then I have a little silicone round um, tray over there that I pour the rest into. So this is hot paint from the conservatory. Um, of course the titanium dioxide. And this is Storm from TKB. I have not used the hot pink or Storm before, but it's actually a really pretty color. Okay, so. that and some white. I'll do 
top and then drop this down. really like this color combination. It's pretty full. Okay, that should work. Again, skewer, you, like I said, um, Man, this stayed fluid really well. That is, I like those fragrances. <laughs> um, you can go as far down as you want. I might try to skewer a little bit deeper on this one. And you just do any kind of design you really... Just doing light curls. I know this one holds about four bars, so I'm trying to eyeball. There's one, there's two. Here's bar three. And then I'll turn it around for bar four. And there you go. This is still really fluid, so um, like the other one, I'm gonna let this set up before I design the top. If you give me a second, I can show you this is the first one that I did. And I just poured a blue stripe, a blue stripe, a white, a green, a white, and I just kind of, um, I guess it's a mantra, but I looped it around a little bit to do a kind of a tight figure eight. And so that's all I did for the tops on that one. So as soon as this hardens up, I will decorate the tops and I will have um, pictures of it. Now, um, you have to show in your pictures for your link up, your tool that you used, and you have to show your cut bars of soap. You don't have to show your whole process or in the mold, but um, we all love it. It's a learning experience for everyone when you do that. So it's welcome, but it's not required. Again, two colors minimum dropped into the batter swirled with a skewer, making sure you're hitting, um, each soap will have a swirl in it, and use a solid base color on the bottom or an in the pot. In the pot, you can color your pot and add two more to it for a total of three in the end of the pot, but um, I, I hope you guys understand what I'm saying. It sounds more complicated than it really is. And like I said, if there's any questions, feel free to ask on the thread, and good luck to everyone.